So GCSE biologists, this question is for you. If you've been studying your neurons and you've been doing reflex actions, then hopefully you'll find this useful. We're gonna label this reflex arc. I've made it worth six marks because we have to label absolutely everything. We've got a candle. This candle is the stimulus in this question because the heat from this candle is gonna burn this poor person's hand. Uh, so the candle or the heat from the flame is the stimulus. Now the stimulus is always detected by a receptor and in this case, the receptors are gonna be in the skin on the hand because this daft person has put their hand into the candle. Uh, so they're called thermoreceptors. Don't need to know that at GCSE. You can just say receptors. But the receptors are gonna be here in the skin on the hand and they are gonna detect the heat from that candle. Next thing, we're gonna get an electrical impulse sent down this neuron. Now, because this neuron is going from the receptors into the central nervous system, we know that that is a sensory neuron and it's carrying the electrical impulse in that direction. Here, this neuron, well, it looks a little bit smaller. It's between the sensory and the motor and it's in the central nervous system. This, by the way, is meant to be your spinal cord. So it's in the spinal cord so that must be our relay neuron. Finally, we've got our third and final neuron that's going from the central nervous system back out and away. So that must be our motor neuron, which is gonna carry the electrical impulse in this direction. And it's gonna take it to an effector. Now, effectors can only be one of two things. They can only be muscles or glands. And in this example, the effector is the muscle. Probably should be the bicep muscle, really. But anyway, um, what's going to happen is the muscle is going to contract and that's going to help to move your forearm and move your hand away from the candle. One other thing I just wanted to label with you, don't forget that in the reflex arc, you also have synapses. Now a synapse is just a gap or a junction between two neurons. So there'll be two of them here. There'll be a synapse between the sensory and the relay neuron and another synapse between the relay neuron and the motor neuron. And remember, the electrical impulse cannot cross the synapse. So chemicals or neurotransmitters will diffuse across those gaps instead. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the link in the description below to join my biology course.